Hi guys, we're back. Fred here, AF Math and Engineering. And let us first return to this page and draw the shear flow diagram. And we'll talk a little bit about that, okay? So the shear flow, there's kind of a convention that it follows. And what I suggest you do if you're studying this now in your course is to go to the section of your book in Shear Center or maybe the lecture slides that your professor posted for you. And he should have given or she should have given uh, I, I guess a convention of how the shear flow flows through the, the, the shape and each one's different but they do kind of follow general patterns so usually the shear flow will go in one direction throughout the throughout the cross section okay so in this particular cross section okay the shear flow is going to flow like this and this is kind of just practice. You just need to look at the direction of the shear flow of different cross sections and get a feel for, for the way that it works. I mean, it's, it's very actually kind of difficult to explain. Okay, we have that. And let me draw the forces that are acting. Okay, so the, this shear flow kind of, this, this shear force here acting, which is given in the question, which is 200 kilonewtons, it creates a, a couple moment right between the different flanges okay so in this case we are going to have a force here and a force here okay and these two forces acting with a perpendicular distance are going to create a couple moment okay and we have f2 and these are going to create a couple moment here okay so when you look at the cross section, look for two flanges or, or pieces sticking out that are that are the, the same distance apart from the neutral axis. Okay, and generally in shear center questions, those are going to create a couple moment. Okay. All right. So the next part of the question, we are asked to locate the shear center with respect to the web. Okay. 